Exploring the top funnel audience for a B2C legion business can be time consuming and also expensive. You need to run a lot of experiments to find out which audience segment is working for you. It requires a lot of time and also you need to increase your ad spend for that. But there is a way to find high value customers from your existing database. We did this for one of our client who is in B2C legion business. They had a database of 10,000 leads. We segregated all those leads based on intent and assigned a value to them. We then sent that particular audience to Facebook along with the value to create a value based lookalike. When we implemented this strategy, initially there was less volume, but the quality was high. We were able to see the LTO spike from 11% to 47%. And the important metric to note here is CPO was reduced by 71%. In this video, we'll see how to implement value based lookalike audience for your B2C lead gen business with customer labs. So the first step is to collect all your database and format them in a particular template. You can get the template in your audience dashboard on ads manager. Click on create audience lookalike audience. You could see this create new source under that click custom audience with customer value. Here you would be able to download this template if you just click on it save the template. This is the template that you would get. If you have all the details like phone number, uh, IDs, zip code, country, date of birth, you can fill up everything. If not, you can fill up only these details. These are the primary parameters that you need. First name, last name, the email ID, phone number, value and the lead stage. So now let's see how we have combined the lead stages. This particular business had a 10 prominent sales qualified opportunity leads, which are sales qualified. We call that opportunity with these 10 lead stages. What we have did is we have consolidated them into three categories. One is the opportunity. Second one is applied to university and the third one is visa success for every lead stage. We have assigned a value for opportunity. We have assigned 10,000 for applied to university. We have assigned 50,000 for visa success. We have applied 75,000. We have come to this value based on two criteria. One is the market condition. Another one is the historic ad spend that we had on the platform. We calculated this particular value. Let's say uh, from Facebook, we have got uh, 100 leads and we have spent 1 lakh for that. Okay, so the CPL would be 1 lakh divided by 100. So 1000. Let's say out of this 100 leads, uh, we got 10 opportunities. So the CPO would be cost per opportunity would be 1 lakh divided by the opportunity 10,000. So that's how we have arrived at this value and so is the other values. So this is how we have arrived for this particular values of each lead stage set. I have formatted this particular template. All you have to do is download this on CSV format. Okay, so I'm going to download here a CSV format. It is done. Now the next step is to connect our CSV as a source inside customer labs. For that, you need to sign into your customer labs dashboard. Click on sources and click connect source. Here, type CSV. CSV is already connected, so all you have to do is upload your CSV here. Click on upload CSV and choose the file from your system. So now let's give a name for this value based list September 3 description as lead with intent and value upload CSV. <clears throat> now the CSV uploaded you have to import it click on import. And data process successfully your leads are imported. Now your CSV file is imported. Now what you have to do is create a workflow. Click on create workflow. So the purpose of creating this workflow is in your raw file in your CSV file. You might have a lot of data, but uh, you need only particular data to come into this particular workflow. So we are going to give this workflow name as value based audience. Facebook. Um, 
and we are going to give a workflow delay workflow delay is nothing but if you have multiple workflows running at the same time you don't want them to interfere with each other so we give a workflow delay and now just to see sample data okay so this particular data will be fetched from a csv that we have uploaded now click on it and you will see a lot of sample data so select one sample data this sample data contains first name email phone number value and mid state so i'm going to use this sample data and click on filter filter the incoming data in this particular uh, stage but we already have a limited data in the csv upload so we can skip this step this is an important step where you'll configure the csv file data as an event so here we can give us custom event and type value based on you can give the name that you want And the next step is to configure the user identity mapping. User identity mapping is nothing but parameter that will help you identify the user. So here we would be choosing phone number and email as our user identity. So let's click phone, phone, and identify by email, email. Now this is done. Now the third step is to configure the user traits. User traits is nothing but all the parameters that you have given in your CSV file. So in that case, that would be your first name, first name, last name, last name, phone number, phone number, um, email, very important. Email, please stage, please stage, and the final one is value, user value. All the parameters are configured here, so let's click on save and save workflow. Now you could see the event that we have created via the workflow is activated here. Now let's move on to the third step. The third step is to create an audience based on this event. For that, you need to go to audience and create audience. Click on custom audience. Since this is an event, you're going to be clicking event and give the name of the event, value based audience. And run quick. Okay, now we have these many audience. Now I'm going to save this as value based September 2020. Okay, I'm going to give the refresh interval as two days. Click and activate. Now the audience is created. Now what we have to do is click on schema. Here you already have some identifying default schema parameters. Now we are going to add all the other parameters that we had in our CSV. So that would be the first name, last name, phone number, Email, each stage, and your user value. Now, click on update schema. Your schema is updated. Now, the last step is to sync this audience with Facebook. So, for that, you need to click on sync, list sync, and under Facebook, click on map schema. If you could see here, you could see this uh, create new value based audience list. Click on that and give the name as value based audience FB. Now save list and schema. Now go to schema mapping and give all the parameters. Um, the important thing that you have to give here is your value. So click on user value and click on value. Now all the attributes are done. Now, now we have to save list, map the schema, and we just have to sync the platform. Now. Turn on this toggle and give instant sync. It will take 15 to 20 minutes for you to sync it. Now let's click on proceed. The last step is to activate this particular audience on Facebook. For that, click go to your audience manager on Facebook, click on create audience, look like audience, and here. This was the audience that we have created. You'll have you see two tabs. One is the other sources, and the other one is value-based sources. So this was the one that we have created 
on the uh, customer labs. So click on this. Give your region. Select the percentage size that you want and create audience. Now your lookalike audience is being created. Now you have created the audience on Facebook. Use this audience in a separate campaign to see the performance difference. This is the result of the value-based lookalike campaign. The performance started spiking up in 15 days and the LTO got increased over time.